Hello guys, welcome back to another Halo 2 Anniversary Forge tutorial. Um, today we're going to go through uh, the, uh, the the basics of spawn points, uh, initial spawns, respawn points. Uh, we'll touch on the um, respawn zones as well, but I won't really go too much into them because they're not really uh, that effective anymore. Um, this was asked for um, by VDG205. So I am hope I can um, help you out. <laughs> so let's, well, let's jump straight in. The problem he's been having is that he, no matter how many spawn points he puts on the map, he seems to be spawning outside, like just in the middle of nowhere. And I think the main problem is you have to set them to teams. Um, so if we just start, so first of all, you can find all the spawn points under spawning from the object selection menu and then here we are we've got initial spawn respawn point uh, cameras which is when you start the match it's what you see uh, respawn zones they <coughs> sorry um, they should be somewhere where you define an area where respawns can take place but they seem to be very weak and so it will just ignore them so I think maybe you have to stack them up or something to increase the chances of respawning in the area even the forced zone doesn't seem to <laughs> force you to spawn there so I'm not sure what's going on with them I've been doing a little bit of research into what it was like in Halo 4 and it seems like it's very similar in this so hopefully I'll be able to do another video where we can get the respawn zones working but you don't really need them that much um, if you're just setting up sort of a basic map uh, you can do it perfectly fine with these spawn points because the sheer amount that they allow you to put down should be perfectly fine so let's start off with initial an, an initial spawn point so as you can see it's slightly it's got the um, the sort of model of a player if we just zoom in a little bit um, what this is just this just tells you that this one is an initial spawn because um, the respawn points are just the blank plate this one right now is a initial spawn point for anybody who's playing so it's neutral it doesn't matter what team you're on it will just if this spawn point is available and you need to respawn it's going to spawn you on this one so although when you first start a match it will look for your specific team first before it tries to put you on this one so just bear that in mind but to change all the teams and everything it's just you press X on it and right there you can see team set to neutral can change this to the defender which is red team attacker which is blue team I'll put something on the screen right now that tells you what each team corresponds to because as you can see they are just called team 3 not the actual colour of them so I've made a little graphic that shows you what corresponds to what just in case you prefer that rather than going through all of them so if we stick this on neutral still and that's pretty much it for initial spawn points um, if we just duplicate and get a defender one you can see it goes red if we get an attacker one you can see it goes blue so like I said these are just your spawn points where you're gonna start what you want to do is you're gonna want initial spawn points for pretty much as many players as you want to be playing on your map and then also throw some neutral ones down just in case so that all the points are covered uh, all the players are covered sorry by points because if not the some things may uh, some like problems may occur which is what I've noticed when I've done my testing um, but if you've got enough down for the amount of players 
uh, it should be perfectly fine. Okay, so if we move on to respawn points now, um, these work very similar to the way that the initial spawns do, only the difference is these are the spawn points that will be used for the rest of the map, whereas the initial spawns are the initial, so sort of when you start the game, that is where you will spawn. So again, we can change the teams of them. Uh, we've got a neutral one right here, a defender, attacker. These are fairly straightforward, but what you want to do is you want to get as many of these down as you possibly can just to increase the chances of getting a fair and safer spawn so if we said like in this area of the map this was the blue team side if we just change to attacker what we would do is say i don't know on on this bridge maybe your idea in your head is you only want them to spawn on there one time but or you only want one spawn point on there but what you actually need to do is put quite a few along maybe just to give the spawn system a lot more choices so if we just keep putting a load down what this will do is then when you die it can check to make sure that there is a spawn point in a safe distance away and so having all these here it will just sort of say there's going to at least be one in this sort of area um, this is what you would normally use a respawn zone for but like I said they're not overly great right now so until we can get them working I would just suggest putting a lot of spawn points down and honestly you should have a lot of spawn points anyway just because it'll increase the chances of getting like a fair spawn like I said um, also, you don't want to only put down um, team spawns, so you definitely want to be putting down quite a lot of neutral spawns, but only put them in neutral areas just to make the game a lot more fair. So if we say, like, this is the middle of the map, so we would put maybe a few down here and then up in this uh, this is um, sort of square area at the top, we would want some spawns as well. So these respawn points, they could be used by either either team or anybody in the game if you're playing sort of like uh, FFA or, well, Slayer, I suppose it is free for all Slayer. Um, and then of course like the team-based ones are for team-based games. Um, I'd say that's pretty much it with the respawn points. Just like I said, you want as many as you can get, really. Uh, what I'm going to talk about now though is I've done a little bit of testing and so when you're placing your spawn points down there's something you need to realise that they look for the f a for a certain distance away for a safe spawn point so what I did here was I set up a mine and I placed a spawn point on every one of these blocks and what I found was that this block here was the sort of sweet spot so the spawn point that was on here no matter how many times I killed myself I would always spawn on this spawn point like even though this one's further away I think that the distance it's checking is around this sort of size so if you check if you see it's about the size of the grid so if you want to uh, sort of measure it yourself, you can say it's pretty much the size of the grid. Um, as you can also see, I have a respawn zone on here. Um, that doesn't work. <laughs> I, uh, what I w I'd progressed my way down it, just taking away the spawn point, and then I would spawn on this one, so I took that one away. Then I would spawn on this one, so I took it away, and so on, until I got to here. And uh, with this spawn point here and that respawn zone over there, you would assume that that respawn zone was safer than that spawn point based on where you die. Only the game doesn't see it like that. It sees this as being a lot safer than that. So just bear that in mind as well, that distance away from where you die 
and also it takes into account where your enemies can spawn and I'm assuming that it takes into account where enemies are but I'm not sure it's that sophisticated so just something else to keep in mind so that's pretty much the basics of all the spawning uh, the respawn points, the initial spawn points and the zones that are kind of pointless um, like I said until I can understand the zones a lot better or get them actually working I, I wouldn't advise using them myself and I won't be using them that much um, I'll probably put them down just in case because it may be that if you label them properly uh, they may work but I was testing an infection game mode and it didn't seem to affect it at all so like I said respawn points are definitely what you should be using anyway um, the respawn zones were always sort of like secondary things just to give you a, a better area so that's pretty much it guys um, thanks for watching and <laughs> sorry I got put off there um, thanks for watching anything that you don't quite understand I mean this one's a bit um, sort of disjointed I guess um, there's not a lot to this one but I suppose it can get a little bit confusing um, so anything you don't understand just comment and I'll do my best to sort of help you out um, thanks very much for watching